Geometric Optics 9, Problems Involving Convex and Concave Lenses. Let's review two terms which we have gone over in previous topic. The first is real images. Real images occur when light rays actually focus or converge at the image. An example is an image on a cinema screen or an image produced on an eyeball. Now, in this image we have a, a converging or convex lens and we can see that the light rays actually converge on the image. These are real, real uh, refracted, uh, refracted rays, and they actually converge on the real image. So that's what a real image is. And uh, contrasting real images, the opposite is a virtual image. Virtual Im image is an image in which the outgoing rays from a point on the object always diverge. It appears to converge in or behind the optical device. Okay. So for example, we see here uh, we have our virtual image here, and we have these uh, we have these these rays, these diverging rays, which appear to converge on this virtual image. Okay, they don't actually converge, and that's why it's virtual. And another point is that the refracted rays you can see here diverge. Now, two important equations, which are essentially the same equations as the equations for um, convex and concave mirrors. Okay, it's 1 over SO, SO being the distance of the object from the lens, and SI, the distance of an image from the lens, equals 1 over F, and that's the distance of the focus from the lens, or the focal length. Okay, a couple important things to note about the signs here. So, when we have SI, okay, when this is positive, that means that the image is real, so we have a real image. When SI is negative, we have a virtual image. And then in addition, we have the magnification equation, which is the same magnification equation uh, that we saw with uh, mirrors. And this is negative SI over SO. Now, a couple things to note about M. So when M is positive, the image is upright. And obviously when it's negative, the image is inverted or upside down. 